Hi everyone. In our previous video, we have learned how to use scripting to insert or update any records in any tables. So today we will discuss about business rule, how to use script in a business rule and how to update records. Okay. So let's take a use case as an example in problem table. Let's take problem table here as an example. So let's open problem table. Let's open a record in the problem table. So let us assume this problem as a parent record. Okay. Let's treat this problem as a parent record. Based on this problem updating, we have to update the child records associated with this problem. So here we have some incidents associated with this particular problem. When we right click here, we will get an option to open in new window. So when you open this, a bunch of incidents will be listed here in the incident table and which are associated to the particular problem we have opened. Okay, so this problem will be parent for all these incidents. For all these incidents, we have five incidents here. Okay, we, if we want to do a manual operation, we will open this incident, and based on this problem, when we when we when the state of this particular problem change it to resolve, we have to manually do it here. Okay, manually we have to do it to resolve. Okay, but we want to automate it. Okay, by using server scripting and business rules, we will automate how we will how we will learn it. Okay, so we need to configure a business rule for that. So we will open business rules under system definition. We have business rules, so we have to create a new business rule. Uh, name this business rule based on your requirement. So we are making the incidents. To resolve state which are related to this problem associated with the problem so for that i am giving it as resolve incidents so based on your use case you can give the name here and we are writing this business rule on problem table why because here in the problem table is the parent so whenever this updates then the associated incidents should update so for that reason we are selecting problem table here so selecting problem to be here and to use scripting part in the business rules, we need to mark advanced as true. Okay. Whenever the advanced mark true, then we will get a scripting part here. Okay. So before that, after marking advanced part, we have to configure the venture conditions. So let us say whatever I have said earlier, whatever we are doing, we have to mention it in the scripting. Okay. Whatever the actions we are manually doing, the same we have to mention it in the scripting as well as the conditions as well. So I am saying here that when the problem state changes to result, whenever the problem state changes to result, all the associated incidents state should change it to result. So what I am saying here, after updating this problem to result, after updating this record, we have to update these records. So here we have enter and conditions as well. Under the drop down, we have choices as after and we have we are here insert update here by query. So we have to select update here. Why I am saying here it as after updating this record, update this record. So for that purpose, I have selected after update here. And we have some filter conditions here. What I was saying here, the state is changing to resolve. So the condition is state changes to resolve. The same we will mention it here. State changes to resolve. Okay, changes to result then under the scripting part now the main things come here the scripting part whatever we are manually doing we have to mention it in script so i am opening incident table from here okay so the associated problems will be listed here so in the previous video like we have discussed whenever we want to open a particular table in the scripting we have to simply write the glide record to that particular table so here we are opening incident table. So I am opening incident table in client record. Then to update a record, we, not, we need to specify what incidents should be updated. So here we have a filter called problem is this, the parent record we are updating. So we need to copy this query and we can paste it anyway. We will get the problem ID, the field value, whatever the field we are checking with, the query we are adding with, the field value will be available here. So here the problem ID we are checking with. So in the business rule, we have to add queries like we said 
add query as the field name, whatever the field name we are querying with. Then here the comes when as it is a reference field in the incident table, if you open an incident table. And the related records you will have the problem field so here you can check it is a reference field okay so like i said earlier in the if the, it is a reference field we have to check it in this side it stores the side of the particular problem so here we need to take the current records side. here we are using current operator as we are working on a current form when the current record is updated all the incidents associated with this current record only will got changed okay so that's that's the reason we are using current here so whenever the current record is state changed to result all the associated incidents will be changed to result state so it's the same way we are conveying it in the scripting then we have to query the records whatever available records then we have to write a while loop here if we write if loop here it will only find the very next record but when we write while loop here it will find all possible records which are associated with this particular problem. So it will find all the records and fetches here. Under the scripting part, now we can execute the scripting. So we are updating the state here. So let's see the state resolve value. We need to know the state fields choice resolve value. So we will configure the dictionary and we will search for it. So the value of the resolve field is 6. And the column name is state so we will write the same here gr dot state is equals to 6 ok and we can mention it here as resolve state as comment so that we would know in future whenever we are working on this business tool and in this incident when a state changes to resolve manually we can't save this form because then we have some mandatory fields to be filled in before saving the form okay this is works based on a ui policy similarly when a problem is updated result state and trying the related incidents to change it to result state this information must be mandatory this is based on a data policy which we will be discussing later so for that purpose we need to also update these two fields the resolution code and the resolution nodes so for that we have to update resolution code first so we will do it in the scripting same so for that we need the whatever the choices is there we'll check for it so in the scripting we have to write gr dot the resolution codes field name that is close code is equals to and the value whatever the value we want to so he these are the choices that are available in the resolution code field so we have resolved by problem field here so based on your use case you can select whatever the field you want whatever the value you want i am selecting resolve by problem as we are doing the same here so we will write as resolve by the problem then we have another field that is resolution nodes this is the range. so being it is a string field we can uh, manually enter any data so we will do the same by using scripting so let's say gr dot close nodes is equals to uh, we can write test here or else we will do the same by whatever the business tool is doing we will do the same so we will update as incident has been resolved since problem is resolved ok we can write this so under this close notes when the problem is changed to resolve state all the incidents associated with this the resolution interval will be saved as resolved by problem and the resolution notes will be saved as this whatever the we have given in the scripting part okay incident has been resolved since problem is resolved and if you want we can add some comments to to that particular incidents let's say here dot comments is equals to we'll add the same as close notes incident has been resolved since problem or we can give the problem number here let's say the current problem number so we have to write the current problem number field value the column label so here it is number so when we write this in the scripting the display value of this field will be populated there so we have to write current dot as we are updating on the current form current dot number 
then is resolved so the output will be incident has been resolved since the since this problem number is resolved so you will check it in the you will you will get to know in the output so then we have to write gr dot update as we have already know it for updating record we have to write gr dot update and out of this loop when this is happened like when business rule is happened just to know about just to know that this happened we can add an information message that this has been executed after resolving after resolving this problem all the associated incidents has been changed to resolve state so for that purpose we can add an information message here so we have to add information like this js dot add info message and we can whatever the message we need based on our configuration i am writing less incidents has been resolved so whenever this business rule triggers and the action is done this information message will be populated on the top of the form under the head okay so let's save this problem and check how it is working so i'll explain it, explain it in short so we have uh, configured this business tool to achieve like when the parent here the parent record is problem is an example so this problem record whenever changes to resolve state the associated child records here we are using incident table the associated incidents should also change it to resolve state okay for that we have developed a business rule under the winter and conditions we have uh, given conditions as after update why because we are doing this after updating the problem record we are updating the incident so that's why we have written here after update and then state changes to resolve this should only happen when the state changes to resolve that's the reason we have mentioned it as state changes to resolve and under the advanced part the scripting part we have glide recorded to the incident table then we have queried that particular incidents all are associated with the current problem then we are updating that values okay let's save this and let's execute this so let's resolve the problem once the problem state changed to resolve okay the problem state state changed to resolve and all associated incidents you can see previously it was new now it is changed to resolve we'll open one incident and we'll check so this incident state changed to resolve and under the resolution information it is seen as resolved by problem as we have entered in the script part and resolution notes as well as comments we have added incident has been resolved since here we will get that problem number which we have mentioned as a dynamic value in the scripting is resolved okay so this way we can configure the business rules to automate the automate the configuration we have whatever the based on parent record the child record should be updated so in next video we will discuss the same configuration how to how to do for the custom tables we can configure the same things to the custom tables as well so in our next upcoming videos we will discuss the same thank you